My name is Anthony Ledford. I am the Chief Scientist at Man AHL, which is part of Man Group. We build algorithmic systems that monitor markets all around the world in real time, try and identify opportunities that are sort of statistically advantageous to us. And then we will trade on the basis of those models that we build. The whole world has moved on from what was simple statistical time series models when I started doing this, to now you have very, very rich data structures. You also have much more sophisticated models. So rather than saying the price is going to go up or the price is going to go down, a lot of models will have multiple horizons associated with them. You've got more complicated data, you've got more complicated models, you need faster compute. There's no two ways about it. And if we're seeing that the IPU would enable that type of computation to be done at materially faster timescales, then I can guarantee that people will at some point be asking for these to be made available. The limit order book is just a representation of all the outstanding orders which are at an exchange of people wanting to buy and people wanting to sell. Depending on whether more and more orders arrive to buy, we might be able to see whether the price subsequently is moving up, for example. And there's where we use machine learning techniques to effectively do this form of pattern recognition for us to be able to detect where the price is going before it actually moves. But to, to phrase it as a supervised learning problem, we have to fix the horizon. We can either predict the price move over the next minute, over the next three minutes, over the next five minutes, but we have to fix it and then train the model to just do this one thing. Now in the multi-step forecasting, we effectively have a model which is trained to make a forecast at a smaller horizon, but then we can feed this information back into itself and roll forward the prediction to arrive at longer horizon forecast. The multi-horizon forecasting models, we get the inspiration from the machine translation problem from natural language processing. So, you know, typically we use sequence to sequence and attention model that has a encoder decoder structure. But the problem is it has a recurrent structure. So it prevents us from doing parallel computing. And so in general, this process takes a lot of time. I think recent work proposed something called transformer, which explicitly tackles this problem by using fully connected layers, so they model the attention mechanism through a different way. But this recurrent structure aligns with the nature of the time series because it naturally summarizes information from the past and propagates this information to the current timestamp. And I think IPU just offers a different way to solve this problem because the structure of the IPU is different from the GPU. We benchmark with a wide range of interesting state-of-art networks and we see that IPUs are at least multiple times faster than the common GPUs. To give a number, I think it would be at least 10 times faster in terms of the training process. It is imperative to us that we can do the research quickly. If you have to wait a month for the computations to finish, that's that's time that's been wasted. So the fact that this paper exists and it's shown advantage in an area we think is important, which is modeling limit order book data using relatively sophisticated models, and we've seen an advantage there, that will be informative when we come to look at the next extensions of our internal computing cloud and infrastructure. <laughs>